Hey there everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, definitely subscribe. Uh, today we're going to talk about 20 key features that you definitely should know about with regards to the new Explore version 2. Today we're going to use this uh, 25 liter bag and I'm going to show you those features starting now. The first thing is Explore is designed to accommodate carry-on regulations across the globe. Uh, not every bag fits every airplane. Starting with the 25 liter, it's gonna be fine on most planes on regional flights. So that pack is a little shorter and a little narrower in depth. Second is the Explore 30. We sized uh, the Explore 30 to fit very strict EU carry-on guidelines. And last, the E35 is sized for US carry-on. Uh, it's a little taller and has a little more depth, which also means it accommodates our DSLR core units. So if you know you fly on flights where you do have a little leniency with your guidelines, by all means, uh, try the E35 if it's a pack size that you actually need. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can find the fit that's appropriate for the travel you like to do. Number two, the luggage handle pass-through. In my opinion, uh, most people will want to travel through airports and uh, just basically whenever they can without their belt. So feel free to remove that. And then when you do actually travel, it's good to just uh, tighten up your shoulder straps just like that and close the sternum strap. You can also make it a little bit tighter up here if you have room. And then you're just going to drop it on like this. And it's going to sit comfortable like that. Now, now you'll notice that the luggage handle pass-through uh, has a nice thick padded handle. Uh, it actually uh, has a, a double task where it's uh, actually a carry handle. When your bag is a little heavier, let's get rid of this. So when your bag is a little heavier, take two hands and pick up your pack. Or just like this and like that. And that's gonna save you a little stress on your back or your shoulder, which hopefully just keeps you in the field longer. Number three, filter pot. Just gonna flip this over and open this up right here. We have a filter pot. You can probably see this one says 72 millimeter V and D. Uh, that's my variable neutral density. And then here, which is gonna be a little tougher to see, I have a, another filter, which is another variable ND, which I believe is gonna be 82. So I have one in the case and one outside of the case. This is for demonstration purposes. You can pack uh, the filters the way you want to. If you pack it in the case, you're gonna have a few advantages here. You're gonna have more protection because it is in the case it came in. With that said, this side access panel is padded here, it's padded here, and it also has the tripod water bottle pouch, which adds quite a bit of padding as well. Now, if you're really running and gunning and moving and shaking and time is of the essence, you can comfortably pack your filters without the case, just like that. Now, one big advantage that I like with the case is the simple fact that you can see a 72 millimeter variable ND, whereas if I had two of these without the case, there's probably going to be a little guessing game going on and that might steal a little setup time that uh, could be valuable if you're at that time of the day when uh, when the lights fading quickly so one other thing to consider with this we've positioned the, the zippers of the pockets so they're the same orientation as the rear panel and I'll show you exactly what I mean so when I'm in the pack accessing gear from the rear I can easily access that filter I don't have to flip the bag, move the bag, rock it up like this, risk anything falling out of my backpack. And it's gonna be the same for when you put the filter back. So that's just a nice little bit of convenience. Of course, if you don't use filters or you have a separate storage case for your filter, you can use these pockets for anything, SD cards, snacks, uh, I don't know, you can figure it out. Now, while we're in that same train of thought of simple, sensible access, you can see here we have our document pocket. I've got a little book here that uh, I've got in, in here, which I like to use this for a book. The only thing is with the Explore 25, which this model is, it's a narrower pack, so your 
book is going to have to be smaller, whereas with 30 and 35, you're gonna be able to carry a bigger book. The other thing is, uh, you know, the book's gonna be there when I'm traveling. Uh, some cases, I will bring it into the field, but from what I've learned is when I do go uh, away and I think I'm gonna spend some nice quiet time at a hut reading, I'm usually exhausted and I'm actually spending more quiet time sleeping than reading. So I don't always bring the book anymore. Uh, ouch. I don't always bring the book anymore. I will uh, more often than not not bring it unless I'm uh, on a flight, train, or a bus. So in that train of thought, uh, I will leave the book. You know, maybe it's at a hotel or wherever my destination is. And then I'll use this pocket for something else. Now the other thing to note about this is when I'm on a train or maybe a bus or whatever in a public situation that I don't really want to open my camera bag and tell everyone, hey, I'm a photographer. You know, in that kind of situation, I'll just use the top access because I can access that pocket here from the top and just have the, the same simple access without advertising all my camera gear. So when you do get to your place of destination, then you can replace it with uh, gear you might need while you're out shooting. And in this case, sometimes I'll use this monitor if I'm doing video work. Of course, anything can go in there, remotes, SD cards, whatever you want. But what I'm trying to get to here is that Again, with the rear access open, I can access that pocket and easily set up uh, what I need to set up. And of course, this is the rear access. Uh, the E25 only fits the small mirrorless core units, but the E30 and E35 uh, fit a greater range of core units. So that modularity is definitely something that is great for convenience because, you know, you just pack for the trip that's ahead of you, or maybe it's just a day. Uh, if you do have more than one core unit, it's really handy just to be able to have that flexibility where you don't need to pack a full bag of gear. You can kind of go 50-50, you know, 30, 70, whatever it is. Next, we have the laptop sleeve. On the E25, it will only fit up to a 13 inch MacBook Pro. That's due to the narrower width of the backpack. If you have a 16, 15, uh, or any 14, I guess, too, in that range, you're gonna need to go to the Explore 30 or 35. And again, that's just simply because the backpack's narrower and it will only accommodate a certain width laptop. Now, I have a little tablet here that I don't really ever use except for teleprompting. And uh, that can go there. This sleeve is also good for things like wraps. Maybe you have a gear set up in here one day where whatever that piece of gears, it's a little bit tall and you kind of wanted a little extra padding uh, within here. You know, this is, this is a great place to put a little bit extra padding via down jacket, a shell or something like that. And let's move up here to the zippers right here. We have one, two and three uh, lockable zippers. Now these zippers require you to purchase uh, an additional lock and that lock just slides through the holes right here and then closes simply like that. Uh, there is different locks on the market that will work with these. YKK specific recommends model number 007, that's 007. So we put it on the two top access points and of course the front panel pocket here. Uh, the reason we use these three pockets are because these are the three most exposed points when it's on your back. Basically, you're blind to whatever's behind you. And we feel these are the three uh, most important ones. Now we only use it on these front panels and not every zipper on the bag because it just gets to a point where it's where it's kind of ridiculous. And the extra cost that is added to the bag through those special zippers uh, will start to add up really quickly as well as it adds weight to the pack. Just another note on zippers. All of the zippers we use are YKK. YKK uh, has a reputation as the best. And yeah, they just make a very reliable product. With that said, like any product, there can always be manufacturing issues. Now to ensure that a zipper works for a long period of time, both the designer and the user have to be responsible. And by that, I mean zippers are designed uh, to go straight. When you have zippers in a tighter corner like this, you start to sacrifice the zipper's durability, just how smooth it performs. So we actually round these corners out as much as possible without cutting off too much space. 
you know, because this is quite round, this area can act very smoothly, but this is also a number 10 size zipper. Uh, it's really big and these are basically the smoothest YKK zippers uh, you can get because of their size. You know, if we move to the front panel here, you can see the foam pocket. This is a number five size zipper, which means it's a little smaller. So this corner is a little tighter. Now it's not demonstrating that right now because my phone's not in there, but uh, when this is fuller, you know, it'll be a little tighter around the corner. So from a design perspective, you really want to limit uh, hard corners. Again, this one's rounded out uh, with that in mind. When it comes to the PU zippers, which is the splash guard or a lot of people call them waterproof, but they're just water resistance. Those zippers, if you have a corner like this, the PU, which is the polyurethane coated zipper track, this corner will flex. And with polyurethane, the more it flexes, the more it's going to start to break, potentially start to flake. And you can just imagine little rubbery bits getting in the, the teeth of the zipper track. That's definitely not good for a zipper. With that in mind, you want to limit using uh, polyurethane zippers on tight corners like this. And that is primarily why we do not have one here. Now this zipper here is for this expandable pocket. This is great for bigger phones. Primary design for this pocket is water bottles, but of course you can use it for phones, maybe stuff a GoPro in here, remote controls, whatever you wanna put in there. Uh, it is nice because it does fold out like this and you can get that, that extra bit of volume if you have a flatter item. But back to the zipper, let's close it up and you'll notice that it's closed there and it opens there. But when we go like this, it locks. So this is a, a YKK self-locking zipper. Number eight, hands down, my favorite feature of the new Explorer series is this base handle. Uh, it's a very simple feature, but it just gives you this incredibly satisfying feeling of lifting your camera bag with two hands and moving it around. Now, why that's such a great thing is for a number of reasons. Imagine yourself on a train, you got the outside seat, uh, there's a couple people in front of you and you get on a stop after everyone else does and you're trying to load your stuff up there. It's just so nice to be able to put it up there like this and take it down like that. It's such a nice convenience. Of course, it's the same thing on the airplane. Putting it in your car, maybe you've got a car full of other photographers with camera bags and they're all stacked up in the back. Maybe you're just with your family or friends. It's so nice to be able to just pull it. It's just a very satisfying uh, feature. Now let's just imagine that uh, I've set my camera up on a tripod, the light's fading quick, I'm all set up, ready to go, and I'm like, ah, that's not it. So I get my camera tripod, I run over there, maybe I'm 20 feet away, great, fine, okay, I got some beautiful foreground, this is gonna be amazing. Uh, and then I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, I need a different lens, I need a filter, I need to clean my camera, whatever it is. You run back over, you grab your bag, open, you don't have to worry about closing it up, opening it again when you get back to your 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 new angle you just pick it up like this run over there drop it and back to setting up your photos this is a really handy little feature number nine is our new aired out harness uh, this is a little different than action x because we're using this uh, air mesh material on top and that is over a, a high density eva which is a, a nice firm foam and then we perforate holes all throughout that eva and that encourages air to travel through the harness giving you a cooler overall uh, experience the actual little holes are approximately seven millimeters and then we space them at a certain distance so we didn't compromise the last i guess you could say of the foam you can't just put holes all over it because uh the foam is going to become too loose and not provide you with the support you need but with that said those holes uh, do give the harness some more flexibility to contour to your back or to your shoulders and and that combined with the air mesh gives a really nice uh, cushy feel uh, to the harness that's quite different than our Action X. Uh, number 10 is also part of the harness and that is the fact that we still use our adjustable harness. All the shoulder straps uh, that were previously available can be used on Explore and vice versa. These will work on Action X. Explore only has a small, medium and large settings and that's because, uh, just simply because of the height, uh, it's just not high enough to accommodate an extra large setting. Number 11 is our removable belt. Very simple to remove. You can just uh, break the Velcro away with your hand and slowly pull it out. 
just like this. Uh, you'll wanna do this just to simplify your carry experience. Maybe you're running through the airport. Uh, maybe you're just downtown. Maybe you're doing a short hike. Uh, in those situations where you don't need the support and the weight transfer to be drawn to your hips, you can quickly remove your belt. Now, the other thing the belt's great for is if you have a top loader, you can, of course, connect the top loader to your belt secure it just like this and then you can wear your top loader around your waist so number 12 is our foam pocket of course there's the accessory pocket as well i talked a bit about it earlier but i'm just going to demonstrate now i don't have a uh, iphone 12 max pro but this is the case for it so i'm just going to put it in here and i'm just going to demonstrate how that fits and it fits just like that. So my phone, which is the wider Xperia, it is a little bit taller than the iPhone 12 Max, but it's also narrower, so a little bit different. Now uh, you can see right here, that fits as well. If you wanted to put the iPhone 12 over here, this is what it's gonna look like. Now you can do it like this. You can leave this fan open like that, or you can just tuck it in like that. And there you go. We also added these hooks right here, uh, which are great because these are actually designed so you can clip a little microphone here. You can just leave your pocket open. You can leave the mic there. Then if you want to move the mic to where the audio is going to be a little crispier, you can just put it on your sternum strap. Uh, it's just going to save you time and just always be ready for uh, spontaneous moments. So the other thing I use this uh, clip for is just to have quick access to a GoPro. So I'll just slide a capture clip on here. And in certain situations, it's just nice to have a, a GoPro quick access. You just pop it off or you can actually just leave it on too. But of course, GoPros have that feature where you can just set it so you just push the button and it starts recording. It even does it in hindsight, which makes it really good when you got a moment that just pops out of nowhere. So as you can see right here, the green features the white contrast and then the uh, black has the very low contrast gray detail. Uh, this is just a really nice and stylish way to, to place the logo, but also it keeps, uh, I guess, unwanted attention off your backpack. You could go shoot a wedding with this pack and then the next day go climb a mountain. And you know, I think it would be at home in either situation. It's just a really nice, Refined elegance as I like to say, but it's uh, yeah, it's just a nice little detail now number 14 is we have These accessory straps they're included with explore series I think we all know how these work But if you don't let's just do a quick demo basically you want to connect these just like this they have a little uh, little hook here that you pop like that. This is just gonna allow you to you know, attach things to the front panel. Maybe you got a really big tripod that doesn't fit in the pockets. Uh, maybe you got a heavy jacket. Maybe you have a snowboard, a skateboard, who knows? You know, you get the idea. Anything that's this wide is gonna fit in here. They have the locking buckle. So when you push the cam lock down, it won't slip. On the base, let me just pop this off. You can see we also have them on the base. Now, this is a really nice little option. If you uh, you have a sleeping mat or something, you wanna put the other one here, you can uh, put a mat down there. Maybe you're shooting time lapses and you got a lot of time on your hands and it's nice to have a little cushion under your butt. We're at number 15, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. Five more to go. So I'm just gonna pull out my rain cover. You can see I've got it stashed uh, below my core unit here. That just keeps it out of the way. So it comes in this little uh, self-tucking sleeve. There you go. Now, if you're looking at this, you might be saying, ah, that's kind of bright. When it's a gray and miserable day in the mountains, it's definitely good that other people can see you just for awareness. But also if you do get in trouble, it's good to have visibility. So that's why we do use this color. Uh, when you actually get this pack, you'll see that it's not actually that bright. It just kind of comes across brighter on camera. Next, we have side access right here. If you want quick access to your camera, uh, it's just nice to have that feature. Now the door tucks into this pocket right here and you can just slide it in and it has Velcro that will connect to the door just like that. Now, along the same area, we do have our tripod and water bottle pouches. So 
also we'll just quickly set these up. Uh, you can see it's nice, quick, easy to set up. Now another optional use for this pocket is the water bottle. You might be familiar with this size bottle. That is a one liter Nalgene, a very commonly used water bottle and it fits fine in here. Uh, you can definitely put bigger ones in here if you wanted. Uh, the other thing that's great for these pocket, shoes. Now if you're on a mission where you've got hiking boots and uh, when you get to where you're going, you really wanna have a little more comfortable casual footwear. You can easily put some shoes in these pockets. They do have these little holes so any dirt and moisture will escape. And uh, yeah, if you, if you need some recommendation for a great pair of shoes, uh, these are my uh, running shoes of choice right now. This is the Ultra Lone Peak. Now the next feature you should definitely know about is we use a nice heavy duty base material down here. As you can see, this is uh, quite a bit thicker than the actual shell. Uh, it's very water resistant. It has these two little holes right here. Uh, now those are connected to the main front panel pocket. And that's for when you put wet layer, wet gear, whatever it is that's wet in here. Gravity is gonna pull that water down and it's eventually gonna hopefully make its way out of here. But also it's gonna help prevent this pocket from becoming all steamy and gross inside. So it's gonna allow it to breathe a little bit. So we're almost done here. Number 19 is going to be our TPU details and I'll show you just how they work. You're going to take your thumb and just open your zipper nice and clean like that. You have the option to do it on either side. Uh, you can do it down here as well. Now we do have dual zippers on many of the pockets. Now just a little pro tip, uh, try and just use one zipper. Favor one side, that way you're always grabbing this tab and you're always grabbing this zipper because when your zippers are here, you need to use more time and energy to get them open, but also you gotta look for them, you gotta find them. When you leave one zipper at the end at the pull tab, uh, it's always gonna be there for you. Down at the bottom, always leave your zippers down at this point. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you from my experience, leave it in this corner because you wanna know where your zipper is when you open your bag. The last thing, this doesn't this bag look great? I love it, I think it looks beautiful. Key contributor to that is the, the profile of it or the silhouette. Uh, I think the colors are nice, the logo details are nice, uh, and of course the leather zipper details and the zip garage here. Uh, it's just got a really nice aesthetic. You know, in Japan, ever since I moved here, which is almost 15 years ago now, I kind of fell in love with the use of leather with outdoor gear. If you spent a lot of time in Japan, you might see a bit of the influence of where the design comes from. But um, overall, I just, I love the aesthetic of this pack. It fits in urban situations. It fits in on the mountain. Uh, like I said earlier, you could bring it to a wedding, especially the black color. It's just a great pack for a lot of different use case scenarios. And of course, it's really comfortable. So that's it. That is 20 key things I think you should know about. There's definitely a few more features in there, but I'm not gonna get to them in this video. Thanks for watching this video, making it through. I hope that helped you uh, learn a little more about the Explore version two. We'll see you next time. Take care.